use the Bible to find comfort in difficult times. The Bible offers abundant sources of comfort and encouragement for believers facing trials, hardships, or sorrow. Its pages are filled with promises of God's presence, provision, and peace, assuring us of His unfailing love and faithfulness. By meditating on Scripture, we can find solace in God's promises, draw strength from His character, and receive assurance of His care and protection. Additionally, participating in prayer, worship, and fellowship with other believers can provide spiritual support and a sense of community during challenging seasons of life. Through the comforting truths found in the Bible, we can experience hope, healing, and restoration in the midst of adversity. What does the Bible say about the relationship between faith and works? The relationship between faith and works is a central theme in the New Testament, emphasizing the inseparable connection between genuine faith and the fruit it produces in a believer's life. While salvation is received by grace through faith alone, Scripture teaches that true faith inevitably results in transformed attitudes and actions characterized by love, obedience, and good works. Works are not a means of earning salvation but rather evidence of a living faith that has been regenerated by the Holy Spirit. Faith without works is described as dead and ineffective, whereas authentic faith manifests itself in acts of compassion, justice, and service towards others, reflecting the transformative power of God's grace in our lives. How can we understand the concept of the Trinity in the Bible? The concept of the Trinity is a foundational doctrine of the Christian faith, affirming the belief in one God who exists eternally as three distinct persons, the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. While the term, Trinity, is not explicitly mentioned in Scripture, the Bible contains numerous passages that support this triune nature of God, revealing each person's distinct roles and relationships within the Godhead. The Trinity is best understood as a divine mystery that transcends human comprehension, yet it is revealed progressively throughout Scripture, particularly in passages such as the Baptism of Jesus, where all three persons are present, the Great Commission, where believers are baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and the Apostolic Benedictions, which invoke the grace of all three persons. The Trinity underscores the unity, diversity, and relational nature of God, inviting believers to worship and glorify each person of the Trinity equally while affirming their distinctiveness and cooperation in accomplishing the work of redemption and restoration. What does the Bible teach about the importance of humility? Humility is a virtue highly esteemed in the Bible, reflecting an attitude of dependence on God, openness to His will, and consideration of others above oneself. Scripture repeatedly emphasizes the importance of humility in various contexts, contrasting it with pride and arrogance, which lead to destruction and judgment. Humility involves recognizing our own limitations, weaknesses, and need for God's grace, as well as valuing others' perspectives, feelings, and contributions. Jesus exemplified humility in his earthly life, willingly submitting to the Father's will, serving others selflessly, and humbling himself even to the point of death on the cross. The Bible promises that God exalts the humble but opposes the proud, urging believers to clothe themselves with humility and to treat others with gentleness, kindness, and compassion, following the example of Christ. How does the Bible instruct us to handle wealth and prosperity? The Bible offers principles for handling wealth and prosperity in a manner that honors God and promotes stewardship, generosity, and contentment. While wealth itself is not inherently sinful, Scripture warns against the dangers of greed, materialism, and the love of money, which can lead to spiritual bondage and moral corruption. Believers are encouraged to view their possessions as gifts from God entrusted to their care, recognizing their role as stewards and not owners of their resources. This involves practicing wise financial management, living within one's means, and prioritizing eternal investments over temporary riches. Additionally, Scripture calls for generosity towards those in need, sharing our resources with the poor, supporting the work of ministry, and advancing God's kingdom on earth. By cultivating a spirit of gratitude, generosity, and contentment, believers can experience true wealth and fulfillment that transcends material possessions and aligns with God's purposes for their lives.